All right, the second anniversary of my show. Finally time to review Fern Gully, the first movie I remember not liking as a kid. Let's pop this thing in. Oh, the, the library DVD is now working. Then fuck it, we're watching a Neil Breen movie. There were some movies, terrible movies, movies so awful, no one would touch. Then came a Matthew, sad little Matthew, Matthew decided these movies to watch. For every good movie, there's at least ten bad. Matthew doesn't drag himself through the crap to find the worst ones are all to be had. Today's episode, I am here. Now. <sighs> Hello, Brainiacs. I am here. Now. And <laughs> boy, Neil Brain sure has shot up in popularity since I heard about him. Back in summer of 2015, Neil Brain was a name spoken only among the most elite of bad movie lovers. Even by the time I discussed his seminal work, Fateful Findings, he was sort of on the down low. But now his films have become as lucrative as Birdemic or Troll 2, and for good reason. I've seen all four of his movies, and the only one I didn't find that funny was Double Down. See, if you're somehow out of the loop, Neil Breen is the bizarre midground between Tommy Wiseau and David Lynch. His films are both trippy and laughably awful. Double Down lands more on that Lynchian side, but without the skill of David Lynch, it's just kind of nonsense. But today, on short notice, I'm going to talk about my favorite of his films that isn't Faithful Findings, I Am Here Ellipses Now. Take it away, Breen! So we open on a Windows Vista screensaver, taking us to a planet with two moons. Oh no, now I've got to review two full moon movies. The film opens on a crystal ball that's crash landed on Earth and oh, oh boy. Yep, now you know why this is one of my favorites. Neil Breen as Alien Cyber Jesus. How much of a bloated ego do you have to have to cast yourself as Jesus? I'm disappointed in your species. The human species. Uh, that's a spider. Unless you're talking to the dead guy. It's also clearly not a real spider. I gotta say, for as shitty as everything is, Breen can pull off a decent shot every now and then. Other planets that I've created in the solar system are doing very well. I'm sorry, the solar system? The solar system is the eight planets that orbit the sun. We are the only planet with life in this solar system. Did you mean galaxy or even universe? Oh, I guess he meant dolphins. But I mean, if he means other species on Earth, what about the species that commit cannibalism? We're at least doing better than them. Alas, Horatio, I knew him well. God, I'd love to see Neil Breen do Shakespeare. And baby doll heads? Alright, you got me. That one's over my head. Maybe it means nothing. Also, I think this shot is in the wrong place. Then again, Breen edits about as coherently as he writes. One thing I do hate about this film is how much it drags. It's 11 minutes before we get to anything other than Breen walking around the desert. And it's two random people with the most duct tape covered bag of cocaine I've ever seen. That said, sometimes the pacing can be hilariously awkward, like when there's silence for minutes on end, there's finally one out of context line, and back to silence. They think they may have an opportunity to use it now. But are they in for a surprise? <laughs> nice job, tough guy. You just shot out your own window. I'm so fucking high. I want you so bad. I really want you to. I have seen porn with better acting. And better costumes. 
Yeah, just arbitrarily stick that needle in you. Not like that needs to go in a vein or anything. We've died and gone to heaven. Have we died and gone to heaven? It's totally normal to use the same line twice. I mean, come on, it's totally normal to say the same line twice. No, this is not heaven. This is not the way I intended my experiment in creating this planet and this human species to go. I love Breen's unnecessarily verbose dialogue. They try to run, but Breezus demands their clothes, their boots, and their motorcycle. What, you think you're some kind of Jedi waving your hand around like that? My god. Renewable energy's in such a bad place, they've locked all the solar panels in jail. There's that spider again. I bet you guys can't figure out where Neil Breen is from. The country is finally seriously addressing sustainability and respecting the planet's natural resources. I'm so excited to be working here. We're finally producing results generating solar power, as well as wind turbine power generation. The engineering research on thermal power is doing the same. Is this really heavy exposition? I mean, it's stuff that's kind of true in real life. It doesn't tie into the plot that much. I mean, they're laying it on thick enough to choke a small child, but not really exposition. Greedy politicians, lying lawyers and insurance companies are destroying what I had planned for this planet. Whoa, he's so fucking woke, you guys. I will eliminate them all. If the humans cannot, or will not, on their own. Uh, did Neil Breen just advocate killing corrupt politicians? Now that we've paid off our fellow elected representatives in the legislature, that environmental solar panel development bill will fail next week. Not to mention the cash it'll put in our pockets. This. This is the on-the-nose shit I live for. Show me 40 minutes of the Nevada desert. If it's got this shit in it, I'm good. It'll take a power greater than ours to get rid of us. Ah, and clean oh, up the systems. Uh, and manage the environmental resources of this planet the way they were intended. Ah, foreshadowing. I'm so sorry, but due to the poor economy, we're going to have to lay you off. Along with some other staff members. We all had the best of intentions of improving the nation's sustainable energy systems and environment, but the corruption and greed in big business and government just won't let it happen. We're all very disappointed. Yeah, it's always the government and lawyers that prevent progress. What am I even supposed to say about this? It's preachy, it's on the nose, it's horribly done. There's just so many immediately noticeable things wrong here. Don't give up. Don't give up. You can make a difference. Thanks, Jesus. Uh, someone's dripping red paint. Oh, though, I guess not. And this guy just got done making a strawberry jam sandwich. <laughs> I'm genuinely having trouble composing myself to write a line about that baby. It's a fucking Cabbage Patch doll. It's so fake and they did not even cover it up. I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I can't believe I was laid off. Become a stripper. An escort. You'd be great at that. You'd just have to give up your... Shut the fuck up! There is no way I'm going to become a stripper. I'm just gonna appear in some sleazy dude's cheap movie without a bra this fucking close to going full Janet Jackson. Oh, you went with a full frontal shot of a baby. Hey, you guys wanna know some IMDb trivia about this film? The sister waits almost a full second before suggesting prostitution. And, spoilers, the baby is a plastic doll. And then a kid fucking dies because of how hot these girls are. Wow. Oh, great internet powers that be. Please make this line a meme. I need this. Oh, and those 
friends Amber's sister suggested she meet? Violent street criminals. Hell yeah! I'll do her! Damn! Twins! I get her first. You know how Fateful Findings turned into a two-parter? Yeah, that's not happening here. I am at a complete loss for words. We're gonna have your elected colleague, Mr. Smith, and his lawyer removed from our business affairs. Permanently. They're going to have an unfortunate accident. No! Don't cut off my ears! Ah! Oh, so that's what those other two shots earlier were about. This film is the equivalent of the little kid telling a story and going, Wait, I forgot one part. Also, if you want to make it look like an accident, maybe doing the old reservoir dogs with a giant butcher knife isn't the best plan. And another thing, while Brain technically has a point about big business constantly blocking renewable energy, we're getting into conspiracy territory to say they're offing people related to the business. You know John Grisham writes fiction, right? Hey look, it's Neil Breen's pool again. Double my pleasure. Something a real human being has said before. Is this really how you get your kicks, dude? Hire two girls to drink champagne and hang out in your pool? I mean, no judgment, but I'd at least... Well, yeah, that. Okay, we need to talk about this. Brain likes to have topless women in his movies, but not actually show any nudity. And I don't know why. I mean, I know why he has the topless women in there, but I don't know why he's so hesitant to share. My guess is having performers appear nude generally comes at a higher fee. Maybe he wants the nude scenes but can't afford it? Then again, cheap productions like Full Moon Films seem to get nudity in just fine, arguably even too much. And I don't think he's hiring these girls for their acting ability. I feel like if he really wanted to, Breen could have nudity in his films. So what's his aversion to showing it? If you're not gonna show anything, just don't have any nudity. It's really easy to write out of the script. I got what was going on the second this scene started. Now that we've paid off our fellow elected representatives in the legislature, that environmental solar panel development bill will fail next week. Uh, we've been over this. Who even said that? And now he's just reusing footage from earlier in the scene. I know, was he on drugs a really cliche thing to say about a weird movie, but... Was he on drugs during the editing process and just kept forgetting what shots were already in the movie or what order they were supposed to go in? Oh, who am I kidding? That was totally on purpose. I guess Breen's just too advanced for me. Ah! What the hell, man? Yeah, fuck the dude in the wheelchair. My outrage is totally justified. But Jesus makes the bad dude's eyes bleed and then plays red light, green light with some pedestrians. Or maybe red light, green light? I don't feel so good. Cancer chemo is kicking my ass. I always wanted to see this before I died. I only have a month to live. Ah, that's rough, dude. So... You're just here to blow your money on booze, hookers, and gambling. Or just get a closer look at the Las Vegas sign? Look, do it your way. I'm just telling you what I'd do in Vegas if I had a month to live. Whoa, good thing he added that sound effect, or I might think this gun is a cheap piece of plastic. Especially with all the screw holes on the back. Jeez, my AK looks better than that. What? 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 I can't do this. My baby. I 
have my baby. Okay, first off, your baby's plastic. Second off, having kids is not a reason women don't want to go into prostitution. In fact, I'd say in more cases than not, it's what's keeping them in prostitution. I don't understand how they could let this happen. Sustainable energy systems are our future. Lady, that line delivery was way too realistic. I'm gonna need you to dial it way back. This is not a temporary delay. It's more politics and corporate greed. That's more like it. Also, who the fuck are these characters? Just like they're lying about trying to find cures for cancer and other diseases. They could find a cure if they wanted to. It's more profitable not to find any cures. Yeah, curing diseases wouldn't be profitable. Breen, there's a very fine line between being woke and straight-up conspiracy theories, and you are way overstepping that line. Now I've lost my job, and I'm not going to be able to find another one. I'm an environmental activist, and it's getting me nowhere. The politicians in society still have no interest. I love this fucking dude. You can just see him go, this shit again? Seriously, Breen, if you care that much about the environment, make a documentary. This is a fictional movie. Have a plot. Then, I guess, Breezus has sex with Amber and converts back to his true form? Who even knows anymore? But we do finally get to see some titties. Aw, yeah. Excuse me. Excuse me. Your baby dropped his toy. Her baby is a toy. Cancer chemo is kicking my ass. I only have a month to live. God, characters aren't giving exposition anymore. It's just divine exposition. Then Breezus gives this guy a makeover and tells him to go live a happy life with Amber. Um, they haven't met before? He could have a wife, and I'm pretty sure she had a boyfriend. Look, here he is now, joining this ga- oh. Alright, yeah, carry on. And then the street gang discover an undercover cop. This wasn't part of our deal. No payoff is worth this. I don't want any part of this. What? You were okay with murder earlier? I don't even know what you're worried about. None of these hits are landing. Red light. And then Jesus crucifies the politicians. Well, not quite, but they are holding on to a cross. I have eliminated the corrupt politicians and lawyers. You eliminated like six people, dude. That hardly accounts for all the corrupt politicians. And now Neil Breen must return from whence he came. And immediately after giving these two his environmental message, they drive off with the tailgate open and drop two bottles. Way to go, dude. Then we get a recap, because Breen was really pushing this to get it to the hour 30 mark. Yeah, you know what would have helped with that? A plot. And that's I Am Here. Now. What an exceptionally odd film. It's not nearly as funny as Fateful Findings, I think because Fateful Findings has a more focused plot and is way less preachy, but it is kind of funny, mostly for how bizarre and on the nose it is. Breen is a director who continues to baffle and delight me, which is probably why he's become so beloved. I hope he continues to make these odd, odd films of his long into the future. Well. That's the end of another Neil Brain review that will probably get a bunch of views because that movie is popular. Fuck that shit. It's time to get back to my bread and butter. Reviewing full moon movies. I'll see you next time. The garbage.
And remember, respect other humans or I'll fucking crucify you.